Hello and welcome to Molly's Motif. This is Emily and it is finally here. Our Vinyl Education Week at Fantabulous Cricut is finally here. We've been advertising and trying to promote um, this upcoming Vinyl Week and hopefully you've been able to get your vinyl ordered from CricutVinylSupplies.com. Kim is our sponsor this week and she has She's been so great, so gracious. She's let the design team members um, get samples of her vinyl to use for our projects, and it is awesome vinyl. It doesn't pucker. It it cuts. It's oh, it cuts like butter. It's just it's awesome vinyl. So hopefully you've been able to get yours ordered and um, and been able to test that out because it is fantastic vinyl. And this week at Fantabulous Cricut, we've got an awesome blog hop for you. We have lots of blog candy. I'll, I'm giving away some blog candy. Um, just go over to my blog and, and check that information out. And then we also have awesome giveaway from Cricut Vinyl Supplies. If we get 100 participants, Kim is going to give away a Cricut expression. And that's a huge bonus. So hopefully you will be able to spread the word to your friends and all your crafting community um, just to upload your vinyl projects this week over at Fantabulous Crickets for that, that awesome giveaway. And um, we're just really excited that this week is finally here. So hopefully I'll be able to, as I go through um, cutting the vinyl, you'll be able to get some tips or tricks that maybe you haven't heard of before, but it's Vinyl, it may seem scary or intimidating, but it's not. It is so easy to use, and this vinyl especially is just so great. So I'm just going to kind of go through the project that I'm putting together and then just do a sample cut on the vinyl, tell you the settings that I use, and, and that sort of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and um, get my Cricut set up, and then I'll I'll show you, kind of go through some of the steps of cutting vinyl. So, the color palette that I chose from Cricut Vinyl Supplies was just a fall um, spread of colors. So I've got some fun orange, beautiful golds and bronze, um, browns and oranges, just beautiful fall colors, and even yellow. Here's a yellow sample. Um, but I just, I love, I love fall. So I'm super excited about doing my project with the, these colors. And um, I'll do a sample cut on some of this orange, but I'll show you the project that I'm working on. And it's just kind of a subway art tile type home decor. Um, and I always, always, always cut out just with cardstock first, just to play around with what phrases I want to use, um, where I want the placement and that sort of thing. So this is what I've come up with. And I'm gonna go ahead and on my Cricut, I'm gonna cut this Good Times out. Um, it comes from Paisley and I have used a lot of cartridges, um, lots of different cartridges and, and phrases from and fonts from um, a bunch of different cartridges and I'll go through all of those. I'll list all those and the sizes that I've cut them out. But this Good Times comes from Paisley and so I'm going to show you just how awesome this vinyl works in the Cricut and the settings that I use and and all that kind of stuff. So I'll get my camera set for my Cricut and then I'll come back and just show you how I how I run it okay. through. So I'm just gonna go ahead and load my paper and then I do like to kind of start away from the edges a little bit just to make sure it doesn't you know pull from the edges or snag or whatever. Um, and I do have a, a deep cut housing blade. It's this it's the blue one. Oh, you can't even see it. Hold on, let me pull it out so you can see the shadow. It's just, it's the blue deep housing blade. And I I just have it set on five. I don't, I even on my regular blade, I never do like a six. I always have my regular blade on four. But with the vinyl, I just use five. It, I've never had a problem with it. It's worked great for me. Um, cutting vinyl, the setting, the blade at five. So that's where I have that. And then I'll go ahead and change my size to two. That's the size. And then my speed, I always cut vinyl on the slowest speed. I just, I always do. So my speed is at minimum and then my pressure is at medium. Um, and I've never had a problem with that, with my pressure at medium. 
So those are my settings that I use. And then I've got the word and it's the zebra. Make sure that it comes up there. Okay. And you know, you can see it's, you know, it's cursive. It's got some detail in in it, but the vinyl it cuts awesome. So, we'll just go ahead and it is on the slowest speed, so just bear with me. We'll go ahead and cut. And I've just been super impressed with this vinyl. It's great quality. It's thick. It's just, it's great. So if you haven't ever checked out the Cricut Vinyl Supplies, I would encourage you to do that. Hopefully because of the promotion that we've been having, you've already got yours ordered and you're able to work with it already and get your projects put together with, with this vinyl. unload and then if you can see that I don't know if you can even see it but I'll I'll get it peeled off but it is just and I like it when I cut vinyl I don't like to leave the backing on the mat I don't necessarily want the cutting to go through oops through the mat sorry um, I want it just to go through the vinyl and not the back so that's just a preference I that's just how I like to, to work with the vinyl. So um, I'll go ahead and get my transfer tape put on here and peel that off and I'll show you just how slick that is just to come off there. Okay, so here's some transfer tape. I'm just gonna go ahead and peel that off the backing and then put it over my vinyl cut. Just get that pressed down pretty good and then just start to peel it back and just I mean this vinyl is awesome Let's see if you can just give it a little bit of encouragement at the beginning and then it just oh it just peels right off it's just awesome 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 vinyl so so there is you know and then you can take your little pieces out that you need to that don't need to be there and I'll go through that you don't need to see me do that on the camera but just super slick just this really slick process okay. so now I'm just gonna go ahead and transfer my cut to my tile and you know from my sample I decided that this is where I want that cut so I'll go ahead and take my cardstock off and I will get this lined up with where I want it to be and then I I just take my little um, mat scraper that I got in my accessories kit just kind of give it a good scrape down there and then just pull that off and this transfer tape also comes from Cricut Vinyl Supplies and it's awesome it's great it doesn't stick it doesn't pull oh I love it okay so that's that's just how slick working with vinyl can be um, so hopefully you've been having you know similar success stories with the vinyl but I love it I think it's great so I'm going to go ahead, you don't need to see me put this whole thing together, so um, I'm going to go ahead and just and do that, and then I will come back and show you how it turned out. Just something to keep in mind, um, I know a lot of people have complained that they can't cut vinyl on their Cricut, um, and I can see, you know, if you, if you don't have the right settings, if you don't, you know, put the speed where it needs to be, and the pressure, and your blade, you can have a you know a really big problem with cutting vinyl 
I don't know if you can see, I kind of did an extreme where I just set my settings just way out of whack. And, you know, it doesn't cut through, it puckers, it leaves these kind of jagged edges. Um, but if you get your, your settings right, here's the pie, if you can see that. If you can get the settings right, I mean, it's just perfect. There's no problems with the edges. It cuts through just perfectly. It There's just something to be said about making sure you have the right settings. So play around with what works for you and your machine. Like I said, the best combination that I have found is my hou deep housing blade at set at five, my speed at minimum, and my pressure at medium. And I I just do not have a problem with cutting vinyl, especially this vinyl. It's just awesome. So that's just something to be said for your settings. So I've got all of my vinyl put down on my tile and I really like how it turns out. I'm excited to have it up um, once I start decorating for fall. And I even layered some of the vinyl, which was really easy to do. Um, so there's some layers down here on these leaves. But um, yeah, I just really like how it turned out. So I'll just go through real quick the cartridges that I used on this because I did pull from quite a few. Um, the pie came from Just Because Cards. The gobble came from Create a Critter. The pumpkin and the Give Thanks both came from Designer's Calendar. Good Times came from Paisley, which I showed you. Sorry, I have my list here. Um, Preserve comes from From My Kitchen. The Fall is from Created Critter 2. The Family and Friends comes from Life's a Party. And then the Scarecrow and the Leaves both came from Celebrate with Flourish. And I'll go ahead, I'll, on my blog, if you want to head on over there, I'll have the different sizes that I used for the different images um, and phrases. But I'm really excited how this turned out. And I am so excited that our blog hop is finally here and our vinyl education week over at Fantabulous Cricut is here. And please, please spread the word for the Cricut expression giveaway. If we get 100 people participating and linking up their projects, Kim at Cricut Vinyl Supplies, I'm just amazed that she's willing to give away a Cricut expression. So please spread the word. Get out in the crafting communities and all the different blogs and tell people to head on over to Fantabulous Cricut so that we can get all of your entries in and see and be inspired by the things that you come up with with your vinyl projects. And I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. It might be a little bit longer just because of the vinyl instruction and tutorial, but I'm so thankful for my viewers and those that watch my videos. I appreciate any comments, and we will catch you next time.